What's up, Team Lethal fans? Mustang King in the house. It's a Friday, and we're doing the unboxing of the 3.8 liter Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger that's going on my Cobro. So welcome to the Cobro Series Part 5, The Boost. Right here in front of me is the all-new Gen 5 3.8 liter supercharger kit pretty much for all 11 to 21 Coyotes, as well as the 5.2 liter Predator 2020 GT500. Now, this kit is massive, it's insane. Look at the size of the supercharger, it looks awesome. This is done in a custom powder coat, Savannah blue, to match my car, which is a grabber blue color. This is uh, also the newest and greatest design from Whipple Superchargers. This 3.8 liter supercharger kit has new rotor design, has a new uh, rotor shaft design, new rotor profile. It's got a massive inlet on it. Up front, you can see I've got uh, the ability on this to run either a 132 or a 150 millimeter throttle body. Now, since Project Cobro is going to be mainly a street car and see the track as well, I did opt for the 132 millimeter throttle body as well as Whipple was out of the 150s at the time. So I'm going to deal with the 132. I want to give a big shout out to Whipple Supercharged for being the innovators and at the top of the game of the Supercharger game, Mr. Dustin Whipple and the Whipple family. You guys are awesome and treat us great. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Keep on innovating. So uh, this kit not only is the 3.8 liter, it also has the Cobra Jet lid and intercooler brick upgrade. What that is is a larger lid on top here, which includes their dual core, dual pass intercooler for maximum cooling. We've mentioned this in several of our videos. Whipple supercharger kits, these Gen 5s, have no heat soak issues. And we noticed that on the dyno with our 2020 GT500 running 3.8 liter. The beginning of the run, was I believe 120 degrees IET temperatures and at the end of the run it was the same 120 degrees so there's no heat soak no rise in heat at all and that's without an ice tank in the trunk that's just a factory intercooler set up on that car so um, we've also got with the Cobra Jet uh, upgraded intercooler lid and brick are the larger intercooler inlet and outlets for the water You've got 12 AN inlet and outlets here, so you can run custom hoses, whether you want to run it to your factory intercooler setup, or you can do a trunk mount tank. It gives you the ability to run either and make a custom setup. This is really like a competition kit, um, how I ordered it, since it is going in a Cobra. It's uh, pretty much their Gen 3 2018 and up 3.8 liter competition kit, so it doesn't include any calibration device or fueling mods, all right? Um, moving along here on the blower, you can see they've got uh, really nice billet fuel rails. These vary from the earlier models of the Gen 5 3 liter that on the 3.8 liter they're using now dash 8 ends as opposed to dash 6 ends. So you could run larger fittings, larger lines, provide more fuel. Since I'm be running E85 and aiming for 1,000 to 1,100 wheel horsepower, I do want to make sure that this car has enough fuel. So having those larger uh, fuel rails on there is definitely nice. All right. Uh, we're also topping it off my car that are not on here right now, some ID 1300s. Thank you very much, Injector Dynamics. Good stuff. So pretty much, as I mentioned, this is a kit based for a 2018 and up Mustang GT. That's a Gen 3 Coyote. So it'll work on 11 and up Coyotes and the 2020 GT500. So since it's going in my Cobra, uh, it's not really designed for it, but we're gonna go over all of the components that actually come in the kit for you guys out there who have an 1121 GT or GT500. So um, I did opt for the 10 rib kit. Uh, now this uh, comes complete from Whipple. They include an ATI damper with 10 rib. They've got uh, some tensioners, some idlers, and accessory drive bracket to set it up for a 10 rib. Now, on my car, since it's a Coyote swap and I'm using the Power by the Hour Coyote swap kit, Jake does not have it set up yet for a 10 rib. So, uh, you can either opt to go with a 6 rib or 8 rib. Uh, and I said to Jake, I said, hey, I'd rather have an 8 rib because I plan on making some power with this thing. I don't want any belt slip or anything like that. So, Jake is actually making me a special tensioner with an 8 rib idler on it, as well as the power steering pump pulley needs to be eight rib too. So I'm gonna set it up, install everything just how it comes from Whipple, the 10 rib kit, and uh, use those parts from Power by the Hour, and I'm just gonna run an eight rib belt on the 10 rib setup. All right, so I'm standing back here, and I'm seeing this sign, and it says the supercharger has no oil. Fill it with supercharger oil per instructions, and I will stress again, it's happened before, people do forget to do that. Make sure that you do 
put the oil in that Whipple includes. What's Whipple use? They use Esther oil. Esther, where you at? Esther is like my gr grandma Esther, where you at? There you go, that's Esther oil from Whipple Superchargers. And uh, if you need some replacement oil, you can always call Whipple. This stuff can also be picked up at pretty much any Napa uh, auto parts store. So Esther oil, make sure to put it in. Read that sign on the back and fill it with oil or else you can have problems, all right? Here's pretty much all of the hoses and accessories and everything is labeled from Whipple. Like this pack right here is their supercharger install bag. It's got uh, a whole bunch of O-rings and um, uh, stuff for the inlet, uh, inlet fitting bag, fuel line disconnect tool. Everything is really nice and labeled. That's the Whipple way. Uh, and really, I know it's an unboxing video. I'm thinking about it. I was going to try and start pulling stuff out of the box, but the way Whipple packs everything and boxes everything, it would take me like an hour and you just watch me like trying to peel apart and open boxes and stuff. So that's again, the Whipple way. Everything is labeled gives you really good instructions as well on what to install, where to install, and it's all bagged separately. Uh, we've got some uh, fill neck to tank hose. We got some more hose here. This is, looks like the harness for the inner cooler pump setup. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other uh, hose bag kit right here. And this is just uh, you're, what you're gonna get when you order one of these kits for your 11 and up Coyote Mustang from Lethal Performance. There you have it, Whipple sends it complete. All right. Real quick guys, uh, I'm not sure necessarily if I'll be using this stuff on my car because again, it's going in a SN95 chassis or new edge, whatever you guys want to call it, my 03 Cobra. This uh, does come still though for the Coyote with their uh, air intake setup, real nice high flow fuel filter. They've got a nice um, molded air box here, comes with the inlet uh, and the MAF housing and everything else. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna be using from it. We may have to make a custom intake for Project Cobro, but regardless, I just wanna show you exactly what does come with that Whipple kit when you do order it for 11 and up Coyote. In addition to the inner cooler that's sitting under the lid right here on the supercharger itself, Whipple does provide a whole bunch of other stuff for your inner cooler system, including this high flow inner cooler pump, We've also got a couple of reservoirs right here. Whipple's got this real nice aluminum tank here. That's your reservoir. And here's your reservoir fill tank. So uh, this, uh, along with the hoses over here, will complete your intercooler system. And again, you can run an aftermarket trunk mount tank if you'd like, which I plan on doing from PNR. So for the guys that are running these on Coyotes, this blower is very large on 11 and up Mustang GT. It will not clear the factory hood without the use of these. This is the BMR engine lowering brackets. This allows you to lower the engine enough, I believe about a half an inch, to allow you to clear your factory hood with the supercharger kit. On my Cobra, I'm running a cowl hood. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna be requiring these, but we'll see how it goes when we get there. Would you take a look at that? Take a look at that. Look at the size of that inlet from Whipple Superchargers. It's massive. We can double fist this thing. We can fit a family of four in there. I'm looking for my kids. Hey, Harlow, Luco, where are you guys at? Are you in there? Seriously, it's huge. No restriction and flowing as much air as possible is how we're gonna make the power on my Project Cobro. So we've got the 132 millimeter throttle body that will be bolted up. You do have the option to run a 150 millimeter one. I'm going with the 132. You can see the electronics are already pre-installed from Whipple. You don't have to worry about removing your factory one and mounting it on here and having a clock, a spring or anything like that. It's done for you already, which is awesome. Good job Whipple on that one. We've got the uh, tensioner over here. We've also got the uh, Whipple 10 rib pulley. Uh, and it looks like we've got an ARP bolt for that 10 rib kit. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start boxing all this stuff, put it in my truck. I'm gonna make my way down to Luha Motorsports, drop off the blower and the brand new bear brakes that I got, which are sick. And we're gonna finish up this Cobro part five the boost. All right, so All we got right. the truck loaded up. We got the truck loaded up. We got the Whipple back here. We got the bare brake set up back here. The only thing missing is my son. So I'm gonna go pick up Luca now, and then we're headed down to Luha Motorsports. Yeah. All right. I don't even know what this is. Is this gonna be your, the cool? I don't even know what the, if that's for the inner core or not. Or that's coolant tank. Bill will be for your inner core of fluid. Inner fluid. Inner fluid. 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 That's my Friday. Inner fluid. Like that. Or like another one. You normally fist your superchargers? All the time. Du not just fist. I'm a, a double fist my supercharger inlets from Whipple because they're so big. 
It's massive. I mean, Jared, are you just gonna put some death fluid in the Letal Five? Yeah, put some, some, put some piss in here. Okay. Step two, go poopy. I go poopy. I go poopy. Oh, it's leaking. Oh man. That's drip. good stuff too. Drip, 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 drip on Friday. I'm hungry, man. Starving. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's gonna be a Wendell's day today. A Wendell's, huh? Wendell's, dude. Yeah.